might be positive. Here's how it went. When Madonna calls, what's a five block run in the rain, right? You carry Katie Lang. You carry Katie Lang. When I'm close to you, dear. All sorts of celebs were on hand, not just to raise money to fight AIDS, but to honor Madonna for her ceaseless AIDS activism. In the mid-80s, she was a model at an early AIDS benefit fashion show. In 1987, she held pop music's first big AIDS benefit show at New York's Madison Square Garden. She's shaking her booty at AIDS dance-a-thons. And on her last tour, she held another benefit after her friend, artist Keith Haring, died of AIDS. I think that she was one of the first people to really come out and uh, raise money, donate, publicly fight for it when it was not as fashionable. I think that she's a real heroine in that respect. Madonna not only got the Amphar Award of Courage, she was also roasted to a degree by her League of Their Own co-star, Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, oh. Like every AIDS-related event these days, this one also saw discussion of Magic Johnson's announcement that he's HIV positive and the AIDS-related death of Queen frontman Freddie Mercury. I hope that uh, we're able to find a miracle through his sacrifice. Amphar co-founder and chairwoman Elizabeth Taylor was absent with the flu, but her disembodied voice did address the crowd on an audio tape she recorded in her sickbed. Tonight, we pay tribute to the heroine of our movie and a symbol of our times. Madonna, it is with love I salute you. God bless you always. I don't even know all the stuff that she does. I know that she gives a lot of money, and, and I know that she's vocal about, you know, um, safe sex, and I just think that she's, you know, politically correct about it. It's called the Award of Courage, which makes sense because Madonna is about the bravest person I know. Finally, Madonna took a few moments to address those rumors. Now, I am not HIV positive, but what if I were? I would be more afraid of how society would treat me for having the disease than the actual disease itself. It occurred to me rather recently that what's even bigger than the AIDS epidemic, what's even more frightening, is the fear that this plague has given birth to. What they're facing is real. And if we can learn to deal with real, and we can learn to deal with our fears, then I'm hopeful that we can conquer this disease. Thank you.